Hello everyone, welcome back to Phone Future. Today we have got a comparison uh, of the Note 20 Ultra 5G versus the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Uh, so the first thing that we are going to be uh, seeing is going to be the facial recognition of both of these phones so let's test it out right so let's see which one opens the first right so the iPhone is unlocked as we can see while the Note 20 is still struggling to open so let's try it again uh, yeah so the iPhone is unlocked once again right so this is an issue that we are still uh, facing with the note 20 although uh, point to be noted that this uh, note 20 is currently running on the uh, one ui 3.0 which is a beta version so it's currently unstable and also one thing that this phone has an ultrasonic fingerprint scanner which is a plus over the iphone which does not have any fingerprint scanner right so uh, the next thing that we have is the camera. So how are these cameras, these top flagship cameras performing? Right, so these are the two, these are some camera samples captured from both of these cameras. So if we zoom into the picture of both of these uh, pictures, so we do see that the clarity is a little bit better on the iPhone uh, as well as it seems a little bit more natural over the Note 20 Ultra. And as you can see the text visible on the uh, uh, the stickers present on the laptop is a little bit more visible on the iPhone right so if we go towards the ultra wide camera uh, we do see that the ultra wide camera also uh, has a bit better quality than the Note 20 Ultra uh, the overall dynamic range is handled very good by the uh, Note 20 right so if we move on to the telephoto we see a difference over here this iPhone supports only two times telephoto uh, whereas this uh, Note 20 Ultra has a 5 times telephoto lens and a digital zoom up to 50 times whereas this digital zoom only supports 12 times so this is a very big plus point for uh, the Note 20 Ultra over here so uh, it wins in this segment right so if we move on to a little bit more of an outdoor lighting uh, we can see that the overall dynamic range of the Note 20 Ultra is much better because we can see the color of the sky as well as the tree over here whereas on the iPhone it's not exactly visible and it's not shown up very nicely. Overall the photo is a more, bit more natural looking on the iPhone as compared to the Note 20. Right mm -hmm. so if we move on to this camera sample over here uh, the Diaz over here so we can see that the uh, picture is more vibrant on the Note 20 uh, as compared to the uh, iPhone over there although both have a good dynamic range and do a farewell job right so uh, talking about the performance of both of these flagship the iPhone as we can see uh, just a little bit over towards the over the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra uh, we have a a bit higher score than the Note 20 Ultra. So the point to be noted over here is that the Note 20 Ultra, uh, the one that we have here, has an Exynos chip rather than a Snapdragon chip, and the Snapdragon version of this brick uh, is a more, lot more closer, or almost equivalent towards the uh, iPhone 12 Pro Max in terms of performance. Right. So the next thing that we want to talk about is the uh, the browsing speed basically how the phones perform if we want to uh, open certain sites and how do how they conform uh, perform right so if we try to open over here the watch on this device and on here as well right so as we can see the iPhone was a lot quicker Point to be noted is that both of these devices are connected to the same network, right? So as we can see, the uh, iPhone was a bit more quicker than the Note 20 Ultra, although the display and the scrolling is a lot more smoother on the Note 20 Ultra because of the 120 hertz display, right? So let's some mode one or two more sites so that we can get a cumulative result. Right, so while opening GSM Arena, the Note 20 was a little bit faster. Let's try to open one more site. Uh, let's actually go to fast.com. 
Right, so let's do the speed test of both of these phones, the browsing speeds that we receive on the iPhone. Let's check it first. Right, so let's do it again. Right, so we are receiving around 94 Mbps, give or take, on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Let's check it on the Note 20. Alright, so it's almost safe to say that both of these phones have a comparable amount of speed. There's not a very big difference between both of these phones. Right, so let's begin with the display comparisons of both of these phones. We have the same video playing side by side on both of these phones and you can judge by yourself which video seems better on which phone. Right, so let's play it. Uh, right off the bat, we can see that the uh, sm smoothness of the video is a bit better on the Note 20 over the uh, iPhone 12 uh, as we can see. The picture seems a bit more vibrant on the uh, Note 20 whereas we can see that the uh, brightness or uh, the brightness of the display is a little bit better on the iPhone uh, which we have seen previously as well in the uh, other tests as well. Right, so I hope that's enough for you to make a judgement as to which display seems better or not. Right, so let's also hate the speakers of both of these phones. Um, how these phones perform. Uh, recently, I have been stunned by the speaker quality of this iPhone 12 Pro Max. The bass is really good on this phone. And yeah, so let's first hear it on the Note 20 Ultra over here. Right, so let's have a listen. Let's skip a little. Alright. Right, so let's listen it on the iPhone. The volume is full on both of these phones as we can see. Right, so here we see. So the audio does seem a little bit more punchy on the iPhone as compared to the Note 20 Ultra. Although both of them are very good sounding phones, you cannot be disappointed with either of them. So thank you everyone for watching this video. Subscribe, like and share my channel and do hit the bell icon for seeing future videos like this. Thank you for watching. This is Shivam and I'm from Phone Future. Bye bye.